Most of our former presidents are scared to say the truth, apart from one person, Akim Baba Ahmed, shock Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a recent report by Punch Newspaper Online, the spokesperson for the Northern Elders Forum, NEF, Akim Baba Ahmed, discussed the grievances expressed by residents of the southeastern region of the country. In an interview with a Punch correspondent, he addressed the claims made by the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, Mala Nasa Erufai, who suggested that many NEF elders lacked a political base and that several northern state governors did not appreciate or endorse NEF's suggestions. Baba Ahmed disagreed with this viewpoint. Clarifying the relationship between NEF and the 19 state governors in the north, Baba Ahmed reflected the notion that RFI represented the governor's collective opinion. According to him, the NEF maintains a healthy interaction with those governors. But he acknowledged that politicians often became resistant to criticism after attaining power. When leaders are sent to positions of authority, they initially seek good ideas and relationships. However, once constructive criticism is offered, they tend to shut down opposing views. Opposing views. Expressing concern about Nigerians' political landscape. Baba Ahmed bemoaned the lack of true political elite, pointing out that the country only has politicians. He criticized the short tenure of leadership, lasting only four to eight years, which prevents the development of enduring political elites. Baba Ahmed identified this as one of the nation's tragedies Noting that the military's influence after the First Republic hindered the emergence of unif ununified national political elites, exacerbating existing problems. Notably, Baba Ahmed remarked that many former presidents are reluctant to speak the truth about Nigerians' issue, except for the former president, Ulysses Obasanjo. Who questioned why the political system alienates and discourages their involvement, preventing them from collectively addressing problems. He emphasized that his group uh, compatriots seek to change this by encouraging the former presidents and elites to come together and voice their concerns about the nation state, uh, the nation state of affairs. In his words, unfortunately, many of our former presidents are scared to say the truth, except only one person, and that is the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo. Why is it that our political system alienates them and scares them from getting involved? Why can't they say something is wrong and say it together? That is what we are trying to do. In the compatriots that I also belong to. The news article highlighted Akim Baba Ahmed's interview where he expressed the, the Northern Elders Forum's interactions with Northern state governors and emphasized the need for enduring political elites in Nigeria. He raised concerns about the tendency of leaders to reject criticism and discuss the limited voices speaking truthfully about the nation's challenges. Baba Ahmed Group compatriots claims to foster a platform for former leaders and elites to collectively address and confront the issues facing the country today. God bless Olusegu Obasanjo. He will continue to live long in good health for only speaking the truth. 
You are one in a million, and because of what you stand for, no sickness, no, no weapon fashioned by man will ever come near you and your entire family. So shall it be. The Northern former president can never do that, especially when the person in their plane, in, in their plan, is in power. The worst hypocrite among them is Adu Salami. He is behaving in a suspicious manner, honestly. Old age and regret have taken over uh, Gowan, that he is deaf and dumb for being used by Britain and Fulani against the Eastern region. Today, Fulani is serving his people breakfast by slaughtering them senselessly, and Britain is quiet about it. The boss now threw your talk. Hmm. No further comment. Nonsense. Did he listen to the truth or add truth? Why in office? Everything about Obasanjo why in office is wrong and bad. He does not add or listen to truth and good advice. Why are some of you Yorubas like this? You hate any of your reasonable sons who is not a who is not as tribalistic as yourself. But stand by truth. Baba Ahmed said the simple truth. But instead of where belay face people like you to appreciate or passenger, you shameless come out here to type rubbish. You only support this Tunubu who deceived Yorubas and Nigerians in 2015 that Buari is a messiah. Now you can see the suffering your tribesmen and Nigerians have gone through. Instead of you, Agbero, to do away with these old rugs in APC who have destroyed and looted everything in the treasure, you are here shamelessly supporting Tunubu, who is an oppressor. He seeks the Lagos state finance through Alpha Bata. Since 1999 to date, by appointing only his tweets like Fashola and uh, Sanwolu, who do not have a mind of their own, but I service specialist to keep Tunubu secret. Secret. But with the help of stupid tribalistic like you, who are busy eating crumbs from your master's table, you remain his prominent slave to be used during elections. Why his children are buying choice uh, properties all over Europe during dining with your oppress oppressors and tormentors. Okay, these are reactions from Nigerians. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe.